I live alone. So I, also, I often contemplate like life's, like why am I even here? So like that guy in the Matrix that wants to be back in the Matrix and just eat steak, I just want to not think about that anymore and I want to just be in society. So a way that I do that is by going to a lot of chain restaurants. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. Today we're at Taco Bell in Van Nuys, California. Shall we? They have breakfast now. I don't think that I even need to make a comment on this. I think just looking at this is, a, is there's something inherently humorous about Taco Bell breakfast. I hit it like the people that work at the product development department at Taco Bell are probably some of the create the most creative people that have ever walked the face of the earth. For the last 20 years, they've taken the same six ingredients and created approximately four trillion menu items. This is my impression of somebody that works at the uh, Taco Bell product development department. All right, guys, this is what we want to do. We want to take a taco, put it inside of a burrito, put that inside of a chalupa, put that inside of a gordita, take that, wrap it in a flour tortilla, deep fry the whole thing, use that as just one topping on a Mexican pizza, cover two Mexican pizzas topped with that in cheddar cheese and nacho cheese, smack them together, bam! Cheesy chicken quesadilla day. We're waiting on our food right now, We've ordered a bunch of different stuff, got a Mexican pizza, got various tacos, got a couple new items, so we'll see how it's going to be. Every single Taco Bell sauce packet has an individual individualized message on it. Let's run away together. Where are we gonna go? All right, y'all. This, this is a Cool Ranch Dorito shit flavored taco shell. And much like the finest red wine, there's like an oaky aftertaste. But instead of oak, it's more of a cool ranch. If this Dorito taco was an instrument in a rock band, It'd be the base. Like it's not gonna be the guy, the front man getting all the pussy. That's the steak quesarito. This tastes like a hamburger with sour cream on it. This quesarito is like the kid in art class who can't make like a, a a painting of a face that looks like a real face, but when he does some abstract shape shit, looks kind of cool. Because of that, I give them a B. Is this Little Caesars? No, it's Poquito Cesar's because we're about to eat a Mexican pizza. If you had nachos, but they were much better organized. Nachos is just as if somebody took all the ingredients and just threw it onto one plate. You know when you're in elementary school and there was one little girl in the class that was really neat and the way that she set everything up, she colored inside the lines, she organized her cubby in the best way, she created this. The messy kid in class made nachos. I'm gonna lie, it's delicious. You can count on me. What is a sauce packet gonna do that you can count on it for? The grilled stuffed nacho. So this is like, it looks like a quesadilla in triangle shape. This is like an Illuminati quesadilla. It's like an Illuminadilla. I'm blown away by the taste. How am I supposed to know if that's real chicken or not? I'm not a vegetarian, but I do often think it's gross that we eat actual other animal flesh, especially considering this animal flesh. Who knows where it came from? Last but not least, we're gonna go with the classic, the chicken burrito. I've never been to a real burrito shop in Van Nuys and seen something like this. It's really ricey, wouldn't you say? Let me list a few things that this chicken burrito does not contain. Foie gras, fennel, anything that's considered free range, anything that's considered gluten free, anything that's considered vegan, there's probably meat in the rice. If I were to rate this as a fast food item, I'd give it a B. If I were to rate it as a chicken burrito, I'd give it a very low grade, y'all. Ready for what? Sauce to be on my taco? Yes. In conclusion, um, I, I feel kind of shitty, but not as shitty as I felt when we did the Denny's episode. So I gotta give this one probably like an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was pretty a pretty good Taco Bell experience. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Brother, give up. Oh.